my brother who's editing this video could show a picture of that guy. Hi sexy ladies, hi sexy gentlemen, Jeremy Fragrance here. Today we're gonna talk about the top 10 most masculine fragrances on the market. I am not going to show you fragrances like Polo Green that I personally think I'm not modern anymore and I'm not going to show you old school fragrances that are not very much available anymore like the Yves Saint Laurent Magnificent Oud Fragrance M7. So let's start off with the list with the number 10 spot which is a soapy fragrance for men in a masculine way, John Varvatos Artisan. And this one smells really much like a guy that is dressed all black, has a lot of money, and does not need to show it. That's how good this guy is just, just, because this is not in your face, it's fresh and clean, yet it's, if you get closer to it, it's like, okay, it's a bit different. It uh, has a bit of a gingery aspect. It's very unusual type of a freshness. Very luxurious, yet sexy masculine. Number 10 spot, Artisan Pure. Number 9 spot, Bottega Veneta Purum Extreme. This fragrance got me even compliments in Hawaii, in the sunny heat. However, I mostly see this one since it's a forest type of smelling fragrance with a leather aspect on a gentleman like Dan Bilzerian, a rugged man, alpha male type of style. Number 9 spot, Purum Extreme. Number 8 spot, this is Carolina Herrera CH Man Privé. And this fragrance is for the bad boy in the black leather jacket. You know it. Has a leather note, has a boozy note, has a seductive cardamom. Bad boy in the black leather jacket. Number eight spot. Number seven spot, Jaguar Pace. And the lady Lara from my videos absolutely adores this one. Generally, every woman I show this to adores this one. This is a very simple, uncool, fragrance because it just smells like shower gel mixed with masculine pepper. That's it. It has better than average performance. It smells like shower gel with pepper and it is one of the cheapest ones on this list. Very nice fragrance. Number six spot, we got the Bentley for Man Intense. This is a leather fragrance and this is also on the cheap side but you have to like leather. So be aware guys, this is not for everybody. Worst case, if you buy this one and don't like it, you can still use it to spray your car seats or your couch because it definitely smells like a very nice leather vibe. Use it fantastically as a leather enhancing smell wherever you want to enhance a luxury leather smell. Smells like James Bond, gorgeous. Number five spot, we got the Dolce & Gabbana The One. And this fragrance is very, very sexy. You show this to a woman, she generally will say, yes, it smells gorgeous. Yes, that's how a man should smell. Yes, I like it. What she doesn't know is that the performance is not the greatest. The performance is not the greatest. But sometimes a man doesn't have to shout to get attention. Sometimes he just has to be there. And if somebody comes close to you, they get a whiff of this and they will say, man, this guy smells sexy, sexy, sexy. This smells sexy, 100%. Number four spot, Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. This fragrance is one of the best ones by Chanel. It has a nice fresh mint. It has a nice peppery pepperness. And it has a seductive tonka bean. Oh, oh man, is this good. I gotta do it, man. I gotta do it. Ah, oh, is this good, man. Mint, pepper, sweetness, gorgeous. Number four spot. Number three spot. Crete Aventus, also a gorgeous fragrance. As you know, very timeless in its approach. This could have been out in the year 1980, but 
also in the year 2025, it still will be modern. This is one of those very rare fragrances. This will also count for this one, by the way. So, as you know, superstar, everybody knows Creed Aventus. Number two spot, we got the Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford. And this fragrance is a powerhouse. This is like a train driving in your face in terms of scent power. It's like a train driving into your face. That's how much a punch you get in the face from the strength of this pretty oriental, not for everybody fragrance. This is a very bold fragrance and not for everybody. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, yes. Number one spot, we got the last one. This is Acqua di Gio Profumo. This is for everybody. You can wear this everywhere, anytime as a masculine guy. This smells like the guy, I think his name is Patrick Dempsey. The guy, Patrick Dempsey, such a handsome man. Not overly, oh, look how muscular I am or whatever, but a cool masculine guy. That's who I see wearing Aqua di Gio Profumo, man. Gorgeous. And by the way, guys, if you want to smell fantastic, I suggest you to also go for my brand. My brand is made to get you a lot of compliments. The first one is made specially for the office to smell great in the office. This is made to smell fantastic on a date. And the perfumer behind these is Alberto Morias. You can Google this gentleman. Those are my fragrances, guys. So if you care about a lot of compliments, if you want your fragrance to have a long lasting effect, and if you want to have the right clean and fresh fragrance for the daytime, wear this. If you want to have a sweet seductive fragrance for the nighttime, then wear this. All right, we're coming. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.